You may have noticed in the last few years an explosion in the number of food trucks. Dozens have begun operating all along the Gulf Coast as the tr uh, trend takes off all across the country. But you might be wondering just how safe is that food that you're ordering? Yeah, News 5's Bill Riles talked with inspectors and food truck operators to find out. You can find a little bit of everything out on the open road these days. We have hot dog, holy dog, fish, shrimp, uh, chicken wing, chicken tenders every day. I do events on the weekends, but um, I've been down here about a year and a half now. Here is a corner at Brooklyn Aeroplex, where at least three food trucks are located for lunch during the week, and business is good. It's picking up very good. Yeah. Yes. I like the chicken tenders, and the barbecue sauce is really good. Uh, I try to get it every time we can. Most customers seem to love the convenience and variety. But keeping one of these trucks going is not easy. They're subject to the same health inspection process as their brick and mortar counterparts, and they get a score too. Brad Phillips is the district manager of inspection services for the Mobile County Health Department. He says when food trucks are inspected, they are essentially inspected twice. They have to operate from a brick and mortar establishment. Uh, that is their base of operation. So we'll go out there and do an inspection that encompasses that brick and mortar and the food truck itself. And inspectors will look for the same things in the trucks and in their commissary. Uh, how they're handling the food, is there cross-contamination potentials, are they maintaining the food temperatures, are they cooking it to the right temperature? So it's the same thing as for a restaurant. Normally they look for grease, uh, mildew, uh, cleanliness of the floor. With few exceptions, the scores tend to be high. Maintaining the truck itself is a little easier. Well, it's smaller and it's easier to contain because it's, you know, it's just in a, a box, you right. know, and um, I got to clean it every day to keep it up. In fact, these three food trucks have ratings in the 90s, 96, 97, 98. We looked at the scores of the food trucks operating along the Gulf Coast. Most had similar numbers. The lowest score we found, a 92. All places serving food, including school cafeterias, bars, grocery stores, gas stations, and food trucks, passed the inspection with an 85. Scores below that require a follow-up visit, and those scores have to be posted where customers can see them. I, I believe that uh, most of these people are trying to make a living, and the last thing you're going to do is cut their own throat. Along with this story on WKRG.com, we posted links of the health department websites where you can find the scores of any establishment serving food. And starting today, we'll begin a weekly look at some of those restaurant scores. You'll find it all right now at WKRG.com. Bill Riles, WKRG News 5.